Welcome back, everybody. I'm Sarah, a wine educator and sommelier here in New York. And I'm Nicole, also a sommelier and friend of Sarah. And we're answering frequently asked questions that we get all the time from customers, friends who are not in the wine business and students alike. So I've got a question for Nicole. Nicole, mm -hmm. rosé in the wintertime, do it? Do it, absolutely. Yes. Do it all the time, rosé all the days. So what do you, what do you what do you drink it with because the the cuisine the food that's in season right now we have a lot of sweet potatoes and root vegetables and turnips and it's not a super exciting vegetable time so yeah yeah but how do you make the rosé work yeah but i'm thinking about like also vegetables like swiss chard and radicchio mm. um yeah which which are in season turnips um the rosé can be such a refreshing way to enjoy those like rooty earthier vegetables mm -hmm. um because they, they can almost give it like a lift because they think it can get earthy as i was saying like mm -hmm. in their winter vegetables um so it's nice to have that little splash of like fruit and acidity and freshness to really elevate everything winter doesn't always have to mean that you're eating like super dense uh rich food and dense like rich cabernets or yeah i mean you can you can keep it light and bright um i would say anywhere where you have maybe a light bodied red wine like sub in a rosé to just switch it up especially um regions that are working with uh maybe like fuller bodied um higher tannin red grapes to make rosé mm -hmm. they're going to be more powerful and structured like your winter rosé mm. um like more vedra from bandol um you're going to get more tannin and power and structure in that rosé mm -hmm. or like where else uh you could do a malbec rosé from south america mm -hmm. actually yeah. i think that could work yeah where it's just giving you a little bit more girth yeah yes. a little bit more oomph it's not yeah. going to be your uh light bodied loire valley rosé right although those can be very quaffable and refreshing because in new york sometimes you have buildings where they'll where the superintendent just cranks up the heat and you're opening up the windows in the middle of winter time and you're like, oh my God, it's 80 degrees in my apartment. And in that case, you want something really refreshing yeah. and thirst quenching. Yes. And I think that rosés can actually fill that, yeah, fill that gap. Yeah, And sometimes we just want to be transported from our, you know, 700 square feet. So like, yeah. why, so not why not open that ro rosé in like the, you know, doldrums of January? <laughs> What? Yeah, it, that actually yes, that transports you to a warmer yeah. place, a warmer time of year. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. So drink up your rosés in the winter time, everybody. There is not ever a bad time, I think, to drink rosé. Rosé all year round for me. Yeah, absolutely. Great, mm -hmm. great question. Thanks for submitting it, and we will be back with more FAQs. And if you want to learn more about wine in general, be sure to check out Brainscape's Wine Academy and also the flashcards for WSET 2 and 3 and also the Court of Master Sommelier's Level 1. We'll see you again soon.